I don't have a magic solution, but I have the best solution we can come up with in the time I have as Premier to make sure we're doing the least amount of damage to BC Hydro, to the people of British Columbia, and in fact, looking at turning a page and making the best of a bad situation. Construction on the Site C hydroelectric dam has already been underway for years, but in weighing whether to scrap it altogether, John Horgan announced today it is past the point of no return and cancelling it would cost billions. It is, without a doubt, an expensive project. It is also incredibly controversial. And once it's built, it will change northeastern BC forever. Here it is. Site C is being built on the Peace River near Fort St. John. When it's done, it'll generate enough energy to power 450,000 homes a year. And proponents say we can't meet climate change targets without it. Site C is about continuing a massive competitive advantage that we have in British Columbia, having low-cost, reliable, environmentally friendly power for our citizens and our businesses. Building the dam will also create thousands of jobs. But First Nations and environmentalists say the project would be a disaster. It would require flooding, 5,500 hectares of land. That's about the size of Manhattan. It's flooding the a low elevation northern river valley with class one farmland. Some terrible impacts to First Nations traditional land use. Um, it goes on and on, kicking landowners off their land and many rare and endangered species. The project also comes with a hefty price tag, $10.7 billion, already over budget. And with the glut of electricity on today's market, paying for the dam by selling surplus energy is going to take a long time. Site C is also a risky play politically. And as Greg Rasmussen tells us, the NDP may have a lot more at stake than its budget. In many ways, Site C is damaged goods, but BC's Premier says he has no choice but to buy it. Although Site C is not the project we would have favoured, and it's not the project we would have started, it must be completed to meet the objectives our government has set. A hydro mega project behind schedule and over budget. Oregon acknowledges it's left British Columbia deeply divided. There are divisions on this project. This was not an easy decision. I, I can't think in the 30 years I've been involved in public policy of a choice that was more difficult than this one. The choice to go ahead with this partly built dam was immediately condemned by the BC Greens, which have a formal agreement to prop up the NDP's razor thin majority. I think that they had a difficult decision to make and they've made the wrong decision because I don't think they have the courage to make the right decision. The Greens say the project doesn't make economic or environmental sense with falling prices for alternatives such as wind and solar. Although angry, Weaver says he won't bring the government down over the issue. $2.1 billion has already been spent on the project. Remediation would cost another $1.8 billion. Paying that off would mean a 12% hike in hydro bills. Politically, today's decision is the path of least resistance, avoiding incredibly unpopular hikes to power bills. But opponents, including Indigenous groups, vow to keep up the fight. I absolutely believe that uh, Mr. Horgan has done irreparable harm to the NDP brand here in British Columbia. There was a, a very deliberate effort made to uh, convince Indigenous peoples and British Columbians that if they were elected as government that they would address the Site C uh, issue. Although today's decision was half-hearted, it was critical in moving Site C ahead. Opponents vow to keep up the fight, saying they'll go ahead with court challenges and public protests. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.